and welcome back for episode 2 of Football Manager 2015. My name is Jeremy and we left you last episode after taking the Vanarama conference job with Aldershot. Um, so uh, as I said this episode we're going to have a quick look at um, the club, what we have available to us, uh, some reports, we have some personal stuff to go through in regards to choosing a captain and speaking to the uh, head of the, the board um, or the owner depending on which way it goes probably along the way we will have a news conference that will need to occur talk to staff we'll look at our staff um, we'll look at our squad in depth in regards to who they are and, and what we can look at We'll also look at affiliated clubs and things along those lines. So, <coughs> so uh, obviously to commence, we've got Shahid Azim, um, and tells us about our contract. The fact we're looking at our own um, direct style. Um, we have staff members, but they'll take a mutual termination uh, should we wish to. Uh, so Shahid Azim is the club chairman, Matt Gray is our assistant coach, and look at holding some things. So we'll start with the attending the meeting, it's always good to attend the meeting. Um, we don't have any other options here. Um, uh, I'm familiar, researched, it's always good. We will hold a press conference. Um, We'll do this straight into the meeting. We might as well get it done now, Coach. Uh, let's send that through. Okay. Yep. Let's have a staff meeting. Um, let's get through every three months for uh, reports. Um, and we know everything else, played this a bit, so. And we don't need to make a board request just yet. Um, so, Ryan Jarvis is in from York at the moment. Um, so we've got left midfielder Jordan Roberts. Um, so Glenn Wilson is 28 year old central defender and Chris Barker is our uh, 34 year old left or central defender so we'll just keep them as they are we won't bother changing them just at the moment no point in shaking up the side uh, let's accept there this is we're looking for a mid-table position within the conference there's a minimum expectation that we reach the first round of the FA Cup and the third round of the FA Trophy we have zero for transfers and a payroll budget of 881,000 you'll only be allowed to retain a small portion of any transfer income um, so we'll go to report rather than anything else um, Let's have a look at the team report. We've got Phil Smith and Dan Thomas. Smith is significantly better than Thomas. Gibbs, Baker, Wilson. Gibbs, right wing back. Um, really, Barker is a central. Gibbs, Osler as our other defender. Lanthorpe and Saunders at defensive. Halton, Roberts, Saunders. Plummer, Plummer with Jarvis, our best striker, followed by Williams and Scott. Um, a current formation, well, we don't actually even set one, so we're not worried about that so much. Uh, and we'll have a look at Saunders' report. So a central midfielder, 24-old, um, playing for Sky League 2, so going all right. Uh, enjoys big matches play a couple positions 
he's not particularly loyal. Ah oh, well, injury prone, one footed, poor intelligence. That's not the best thing for a central midfielder. Uh, inability to make the right decision and should be put on individual training regime to improve his quickness. Okay, and Woodley looks at this. Limited. So we've got a couple of players there that potentially would be good for us. Um, but we'll have a look. So let's meet our play players. Um, so let's speak to Wilson. Uh, okay, and let's hold a team meeting. And. Let's go with Calm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's go mid-table and passionate. It's what we're after. So Scott, Gibbs and McConlin still struggling with their Morale. Let's meet our staff. So Matt Gray. All right. At the moment, I don't have any money available. I don't believe. Uh, let's add those two in corners. We'll listen to them for now. And there we go. Alright, so that's that's just the messages. Let's have a look at the start s squad in depth. Now, we've obviously Phil Smith is significantly better than Dan Thomas, which is why he's starting. Glenn Wilson is captain. Um, he's got a promotion salary rise, relegation salary drop. He's a part-time contract till the 30th of June 15. So till the end of the season, um, he's been at Aldershot, came on a free transfer, has made four appearances, um, played mainly in the conference, some Sky Bet Championship experience, didn't play but was part of the team of Crawley when they made the Sky, Le uh, Sky Bet League 2, mainly a conference player. Okay, Osler, um, again, has played a number of games in Sky League 2. In fact, uh, more than 100 appearances at that level. Uh, been with the club for two seasons. Central defender, um, 24, so not too old. $20,000 value, it's looking all right. No, no recent changes. Chris Barker, 34-year-old central and left-side defender. Uh, he has been at Aldershot for 45 games, so two seasons. Um, part of Barnsley has played championships, so has played in the championship. Starting to probably lose a little as we've gone forward. Um, aggressive, got some good leadership skills, positioning, teamwork, tackling. Um, his strength is, is probably his best physical trait, heading and long throws. Uh, takes us to Jaden Gibbs. Now, Gibbs is a defender, midfielder, attacking midfielder on the right-hand side. Uh, 24. Has played 36 appearances, all with us. Uh, scored two goals, so not too bad. Um... And currently, there's no advice on what to do there. Uh, Damon Lathorpe, 24-year-old, 36,500 defensive midfielder, central midfielder. He has been at the club for this season only, five games. Has played at Sky League Bet 2. Sky Bet League 2, sorry. Um, Sam Hatton. A central midfielder, 26, 
value. Played for Grimsby, Wimbledon, uh, made a number of uh, appearances for Wimbledon. Um, Maidenhead and Stevenage. Matthew Saunders, we looked at him, he is about nearly $100,000 player. We, we pay him $50,000 a year on part-time. That's not bad for part-time. Um, he's made six appearances for the club this season, yet to score a goal, averaging just under seven. Uh, 24 central midfielder, and, and as I said, the, the player they believe is our best player. Jordan Roberts, 20-year-old, um, he's listed for loan, wanted by a club. We pay him $42,000 a year. He's been at the club, played 53 games for Aldershot, um, so was here when they got relegated from the League 2. Six goals last season, attacking left side player, left midfielder. Ryan Jarvis, who is on loan from York. He's a central striker. Um, again, has scored one goal, averaging 6.45. Tristan Plummer, 24-year-old attacking midfielder, right and left-hand side. Um, has been with Oldershot a number of times. Uh, went to Western Supermare and didn't play a game. Uh, has played at the League 2 and League 1 level. So has some experience a little bit higher up, which is good. Josh Scott, 22,000. Um, been part of Aldershot for the two seasons. Um, three goals, so doing well for us there. Um, Brett Williams, who is 26. Uh, obviously a striker. This is his second season. He's got 24 goals in 43 games. For the club. Uh, two goals from six appearances this year. Um, and Andre McCollum. Another striker. 29. This is his first season. Yet to score a goal for Aldershot in three appearances so far. And that is one start to off the bench. So that, that's the team. That's the club. Now, in regards to the club itself, when we look at our finances, we'll start there. Salary, we're, we're spot on. We don't really have anywhere to go with our salary at the moment. So we are in a bit of, a bit of an issue there. But if we look at our affiliates, we are affiliated with... Chelsea. They pay us $90,000 a year. Um, what I might do is just see if uh, we can hit the under 21s and maybe, just maybe see if we can get one of these players as a into the club just to see if we can uh, yeah, just pick one of them up for no other reason than uh, why not? Yeah. Someone like Ola Ina. Uh, I don't want that. I want. To, I can't offer that too. Too young to come across. So at the moment, just can't get them in. Be nice to get them in in regards to a loan, but if we can't get them in, we can't get them in. So we'll worry about that another time. We're probably just outside of any any time we can get them in. So right now, let's have a look at our schedule. We have. Halifax in six days time, so FC Halifax away, followed by Woking, Nuneaton, Braintree and Lincoln. So three home games in the next five and hopefully we can get a win from that. So just having a look at our squad, 
we are running two keepers only one left side defender at the moment a couple of right side defenders some central defenders which we will use okay so let's set our tactics in we may as well get some uh, get some tactics into it um, and what we might do is we may actually just go for a 4-4-2 style or 4-3-3 um, with the players that we've got So we've got your defend or sweeper keeper. We're going to leave him on defend duties. Let's not get too much into this. He's going to be a fullback. Um, our central defender is going to be the ball playing one on the right. And our left one is going to be a typical central defender. And we're going to make this one a wing back right attack let's leave him as a bit of a winger our left winger is actually going to be more an advanced playmaker and we're going to have a target man there and he is going to be Let's go with the poacher. So that's where we're going to play our positions and what we're going to each ask each of them to do. Um, and now we'll just add our players in now. So, oops, don't want Lanthorpe in there. Uh, I want Baker in there actually. Okay, so my right hand side midfield. We're going to start with Hatton. Saunders. We'll get Lanthorpe in first. We're actually going to put Jarvis out on the left with O'Conlon. Williams to start which will leave us our four players and there'll be another one that will come into the side obviously as we go so what we'll do is we will advance uh, get to the game we'll see how this goes obviously we've only set one tactic at this stage we will look at setting another one as we go they're familiar with it it's not something out of the ordinary um, so let's have a look. Do you feel your ambitions by a match by the club? Let's be assertive about that. Uh, happy with the direction? Yep. Passionate? Okay. Okay. I won't discuss it in it. Still a winning persistent, and we're looking to bring our own people in. Um, we're not going to talk about that. So fantastic. We're going to have that as our main focus, which is makes sense. So we will get to the first game. This will be a little bit longer than the last episode. We'll get ourselves up and running, um, have a bit of a match. So before we get into this, let's make sure we get our mentality into. We're going to go a bit of a counter. We want to be uh, a bit fluid. And I want direct passing. Um, crosses uh, exploit the left flank um, let's close them down a bit more 
stay on our feet where we can. Uh, play wide. Okay, so just get ourselves some some tactics in there. Um, so they're expecting oh, 1,100 tickets have been sold, so expecting a nice turnout in their game. And oh, so he's questioning us doing it here. And let's not worry about that right now. And let's start our uh, career versus Halifax uh, as we get into the Halifax game. Away to Halifax, 14 versus 20, so they're not particularly uh, much further in front of us. Um, in fact, only two points clear. Better goal difference, but it's not hard. So we've yet to play. Marvin has given out one red card in four matches, ten yellow cards. Four players out is Halifax, and Ross Dyer is doubtful. Okay, and he's been uh, head coach, Neil Aspen has been there for about six years, five or six years there. Um, So we've already selected our team. We'll bring in Lee Gordon to give me another player. Okay, Mark Roberts is the man. Six goals from six games. Which is uh, quite good as a centre-back. <laughs> you can't complain. Um, they've only conceded six goals in six games with him in the in the side at centre back so at this stage um, let's tight marking and tackle him hard and show on to weaker foot and through to midfield let's put closing this one down and weaker foot there weaker foot there and close down the midfield okay so let's play calm Let's go give them something to cheer for. We'll leave it there for now. And uh, see how we're going. Uh, Brett Williams has picked up an injury early. We will uh, keep watching here. Let's clear it, and there's a gold. Yeah, that's right. So we gave up the easy goal in the midfield there, at the back. Hoping that the uh, the game sounds aren't that too loud for you. McCollum turns it over. And uh, Smith got the hand of that one, which is uh, a good save, but potentially a second goal going here. Good luck for you. McManus, oh, Hatton with a good tackle out wide. Now certainly I might put this in 2D rather than 3D, we'll see. Uh, McConlon, we'll drop it back to Gibbs. Just for streaming purposes and size of video, we may go to 2D, that's a lot of it is done in 2D. We only do important things here. So we've got the yellow card. Damon Lathrope, sorry. And let's go. Um, let's go. You've been unlucky. It's fair enough. Let's start the second half. So, Osler will put it through. Williams needed it. 
So let's hope Williams can get himself going and we can get some ball movement here. Um, we might bring on Scott at the moment for Williams. Um, 60 minute mark. I want to see good performance. Oh, he's demotivated. But you're a forward. Get out there and score a goal. It's not that hard. Can't cry about it. So, ooh, McConlin has been injured, which is a bit of a pain. Let's bring on Plummer for him. Bring on, I brought on Plummer, I don't know, Plummer to there, Jarvis to Striker. Gonna make a difference. Seem deep in thought at least. At least he wasn't crying about it. And we're potentially giving up a second goal here. We got it feared and then Scott. Got the Plummer. And there's number two hit forward with a second. In the 85th minute, we'll get all the points for Halifax. So. Oh. In the 8th minute, we've got one back. See if we can get down forward. <laughs> it's just too simple. Too simple indeed. Okay, so didn't come away with a win. In fact, a, a poor game. Um, let's give them this one. Oh, they weren't so happy with that. So, all right. So, what we uh, will do is finish this bit. Quick look at this. Um, I'm going to leave it there, and we will see you next episode.